Hi, my name is Andy and I'm from Devon Roo and I'm going to do a product demonstration on how to clean a Drinkwell Original Pet Fountain. First I'm going to go through all of the parts here so you're familiar with what we're talking about. This is of course the Original Drinkwell Pet Fountain, invented in 1996, and it has several parts including the lid, there's the filter, this top part is called the housing, it's where the water rises up to then drop out of the spout. And it comes apart from the base of the fountain by pinching two indented areas on either side of the housing that have a little hook, and that's what holds it in place. The water bubbles up into this chamber, that's where the filter is, and there's, of course, a riser tube there as well. And we also have two small parts at the base of the fountain. First one's called the stator and it covers the impeller from the, uh, uh, from the pump. And then we have the flow control knob. Now, once we've taken apart the whole fountain, and of course I'm doing this all dry just for this demonstration, uh, but you would, do it, you would do this at your sink. Um, once you've taken apart all of the parts, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take out the pump from the underside of the fountain. As you can see, the pump is attached to the power cord. And it's right here, and underneath, and this is very difficult to show on the camera, but there's a little indentation for your finger. And you put your finger in there, and you just turn the pump a quarter turn. You can easily grab it kind of with all of your fingers and turn it to the side. Hopefully that shows well. And once you've turned it a quarter turn, okay, it will actually come out of the hole very easily. And now you'll actually see a little bit of a hole right through here. Okay, and now we have basically the, ba the base bottom that we can clean. We have our three brush cleaning kit right here. We have a large one with a sponge on the end. We have a smaller or medium sized one. And we have a very small one. Now, this larger one, particularly because it has a sponge, is used throughout the base of the fountain. And this gets a lot of the grime and mildew. The bristles are pretty stiff, so it will scrape away anything that's caught along the edges. That's how we clean the base. The pump itself actually needs a little bit of maintenance as well. This little white thing here is called an impeller, and it removes very easily. It's only held in with magnetic force. This end of the impeller is actually a magnet, and there's just a little pin that it sits on, and so it's very easy to take in and out. Now, the inside of this impeller hole can get debris inside. That's what this small brush is for. So we can actually take, and just with a little twisting action, clean out the inside, get any food debris or hair that's caught up. We want to make sure that that's completely clean. That can actually slow the impeller, which affects the amount of water that's coming out, and it can actually grind the, uh, the impeller to a halt and actually burn out the motor. So we want to make sure that we're cleaning this at least once per week. Put the pump to the side. I want to show you one area that also is very important to clean on a very regular basis. This squarish hole right here, this is called the riser tube, and this is where the water comes up from the base of the fountain, and it goes into this riser tube, and then it fills this chamber and comes out. Well, this riser tube can actually get uh, a little bit dirty, and this brush here is actually designed perfectly to clean that tube out. Again, you want to twist it a little bit and that gets all the corners, cleans it out very well. The inside of this chamber, you can of course use the big brush and sponge it down beneath to get that area cleaned out. And then for the tighter corners, with a little bit of a rubbing action, you can get any debris that might build up down there. Once the fountain is clean, we're going to reassemble it. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the pump back in. And again, we're going to take it and put it perpendicular to the bottom of the fountain. And then it's a quarter turn to put it right back exactly the way that it was. And it should go in very easily. No forcing should be necessary. Once we have the pump in, we put the stator back in place. 
And then we take the flow control knob and we put it right over the stator. Now, it doesn't stay on very easily, um, so you just kind of have to hold it in place while you're putting the housing back on the top. Put it backwards there. And the trick is there's a little bitty bitty groove on the flow control knob, and that little groove has to be behind the plastic of the housing. So we want to hold it over the stator and then slip it on to hold that flow control knob in. And those little hooks that we were showing before on the side of the housing, those will snap into place. We take our new filter and we put the black side towards the front, towards the spout. And then we can take and we can put the top back on. Now, in terms of refilling it, uh, you can refill it from the bowl or you can actually uh, fill the housing up with water and fill the bowl before turning it on. Hope you found this demonstration to be useful and uh, if you have any questions don't be afraid to uh, contact Devin Rue. Our number is 970-416-6300.